Hello, BookTube. This is a um, announcement video. Um, this is an announcement for the uh, November reading event, Doctor No Vember, uh, play on the title, um, James Bond. And uh, this is a creation of Mark over at Book Time with Elvis, and uh, the co-hosts are Steve Donahue, Randy L. Ray of the Literate Texan. Uh, Greg got another bibliophile reads, and um, when I heard it, I wrote everything down to be careful. That's what you do when you're my age. Um, I was excited, very excited. Um, I don't do as many videos as I used to, but I do them occasionally still. And I saw this and I thought, wow, this this is just exciting. This is something I really, really would like, and. Um, I talked to them and they invited me along, which was very kind of them. And I uh, then I had to figure out what am I going to do. So the, Mark has designed it so from 1917 to 1991 approximately. So you you want the Cold War aspects, but you really want from the rise of the Bolsheviks and all that to the uh, to the uh, end of the Soviet Union. And it's a thing that's always fascinated me. I was in the Soviet Union in 1991 and uh, was in um, Leningrad uh, and then was in Moldavia, was in Ukraine, and then was in Moscow itself during the uh, the final days of the, the coup and the protest march and all that. So I've seen all this, and when I got back from that, I uh, did a lot of reading in, in Russian literature and history and, and all that. And uh, not so much in the last few years, but it, it's always been an interest. And, of course, it dominated the popular culture um, through much of my life. Movies, uh, thrillers, all that sort of thing. And, I mean, I remember, you know, hiding under the desk in school because we were told to like that's really going to work with a nuclear bomb but you know you do what you're told and uh, so I, I I was thrilled to, to jump in rather late I thought, no, we got time to pick stuff so please pick things and check out the other announcement videos and and uh, there's a lot going on in November right I understand that there's a lot of big events um, NaNoWriMo being one I'll try again this year some years I, I, I win and some years I don't um, and, you know, it just seems almost intentionally that NaNoWriMo picks one of the busy months of the year. But that's fine. So the next step was to try to pick at least a book. And you can do nonfiction or fiction. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted something with a spy, sort of the theme here a bit with the, the, uh, the title. Um, also wanted something that, uh, I hadn't read before, and I wanted something that uh, I had at home. So to try to finish off a book, here my watch is calling me, I don't need it, 1-800 number. Um, so I um, went scrambling, you know, I found things around, I've got lots of books I've read before, I've got things I've been meaning to get to but had too much of a World War II theme, I sort of wanted to avoid a bit of that even though in some ways it can be appropriate. It depends on what it is. And I ended up finding something on my shelf that I've had for a while that looked interesting to me, but which I had never read and didn't know much about. And it was this thing. The Folio Society, which you can tell. All right, where am I at? This way. Did I show it upside down? Uh, and... Most like most folk, you know, society, it's a reprint. So this is Mission to Tashkent, Lieutenant Colonel F. M. Bailey, CIE, Gold Medalist of the Royal Geographic Society, Livingston Gold Medalist of the Royal Scottish Geographical Society, Introduction and Epilogue by Peter Hopkirk, and this is London Folio Society, 1999. And there's our hero. And um, this was originally published by Jonathan Cape in 1946, and this edition is published by Arrangement with Random House UK Limited. It's 
illustrated throughout. Again, um, so we think of Central Asia and the Great Game and uh, China and Russia and, and then all their competitors. I don't know if this is going to stay looking washed out like that. It's, it's something to do with the window I'm sitting in front. Um, so what I did is I went and I looked up what I could find about it. And let me read it to you. So um, this is, uh, I, I gave you the information about the book. Colonel F.M. Bailey, whose extraordinary adventures are told here, was long accused by Moscow of being a British master spy sent in 1918 to overthrow the Bolsheviks in Central Asia. As a result, he had, many years after his death, an almost legendary reputation there, that of half-hero, half-villain. In this remarkable book, he tells the perilous game of cat and mouse lasting 16 months which he played with the Bolshevik secret police, the dreaded Cheka. At one point, using a false identity, he actually joined their ranks, who unsuspectingly sent him to Bukhara to arrest himself. Told with almost breathtaking understatement by Bailey, this narrative offers remarkable insight into British secret intelligence work during the Great Game. So, and that was posted on Goodreads. And I've read similar things here and there, and that this is really supposed to be one of the outstanding books of its type, in the, in the literature of its type. So I haven't read it, so I don't know. But this is a good chance to find out. So I will be reading it. Um, and I will be reporting back. And I'm looking forward to November. And thank you, BookTube.